Hey guys, Average Joe here. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video to show you the difference between an improperly assembled handle and a properly assembled handle. Um, there was a, a handful of people, maybe, I don't know, uh, four or five over the last uh, few months that had written in and said that their ball bearings were falling out after they did their upgrade or that they were having trouble turning this dial. Uh, a variety when when a, a handle is improperly assembled, it manifests itself in different kinds of ways for different dumbbells. Uh, you know, each person might be a little bit different from the previous one, but they all have one thing in common: they don't work properly. So I'm going to show you the difference between a an improperly assembled uh, handle on a series one and a properly assembled handle. One of the things you're going to notice on this is this. This is Look at the play on this. Look at, watch this. I can actually move that entire assembly. I can rattle these discs individually like this. And this is the most obvious right there. L look at this. Same thing here. It's most noticeable when you're looking at it on this side. Wow. You know, there is just way too much play in this handle. Now, it's not because these, uh, this here hasn't been tightened enough. This was tightened plenty, but it's missing. On this particular set, I took out the uh, washers here. Now, I've taken out both, and I've only taken out one. And it, it happens in both cases because the, you're basically leaving gaps. In fact, it's so mo it moves so much, you can see right there. So this handle is completely wrong. It needs... To, to be disassembled and you need to go back through and make sure that you know you didn't put the wrong washers back in here uh, you didn't put the wrong washers back in here uh, you know that that it is tight enough um, if you're doing this what's going to happen is you're going to put this handle in the base even with no weights no weights in it and you're going to have two kinds of problems one is when you go to turn this it might not turn at all you can see here this really doesn't want to turn. It's basically hung up. And part of that is that the ball bearings in here aren't uh, moving from spot to spot as they normally would because this thing has way too much play in it. The other thing that can happen is you can turn the dial, but you can hear. You can actually hear the struggle in here of the ball bearings trying to correctly move around or, or this plate trying to move with the ball bearings switching between the different holes on this plate and so it it's re oh my god look at how loose and this is by the way again with it um this is tightened plenty but it's still missing washers here which means that the entire assembly is still going to have a looseness to it now properly assembled one. First of all, look at this up close. Almost no movement in that plate. That's the way it should be. You should be able to go like this with your finger. And so I'm pressing here and I'm pressing here. You should be able to go like this with your fingers and not have this move. Definitely not like this. Second thing is the action should be smooth and the locking pin should work properly when the handle is out. So you can see here, I press this in, turn, great, let it go, nice, flip it over, press this in, great, let it go, beautiful. This one, I don't even have to touch this button, totally wrong. This is not assembled correctly. Uh, if I sometimes, some of uh, the, the, you know, it might be uh, tight enough where every once in a while this works, but it still mostly doesn't. This one's so bad without the washer in there that it just works, you know, freely on both. Oh, yeah, you can actually see that one's just moving completely freely. So the ball bearings aren't doing their job at all anymore. So you, um, you need to be very careful when you're assembling these. You want 
the handle to be tight, but not too tight. And you want the, the washers to be in place because otherwise you're going to get uh, movement that you don't want on the, uh, uh, the, you know, across the length of the handle. And it's a safety issue. So that's the first part. Um, this is a properly assembled one. That one is not properly assembled. Second part. Now, you've got your properly assembled handle. You're going to set it to five on both sides. Okay. Set it to five. And put your largest weights in. Put the handle back in. Make sure everything turns smoothly. Set it to... 52.5 because I know 52.5 will pick up the, the plate, right? Pick it up. Take a look. Beautiful. This is all the way that it should be. Put it back on five. Take it out. Take your next plate. Put that plate in. Take your handle, put your handle back in. Spin. Great. Spin. Wonderful. Put it back on uh, 52.5. 52.5. 52 52.5. Pick it up. Perfect. Exactly how it should be. Do it again. Go to five on both sides. Take this out. Take your plates out. I'm basically doing this all the way across the weights from the heaviest weight to the lightest weight. Dials work. Put it on 52.5. Lift. Perfect. Put it back. Put it back on five. Take the handle out. Take those off. Next ones. Put the handle back in. Spin. Wonderful. Put it on 52.5. 52.5. Pick it up. It's great. Put it back on five. Take the handle out. Repeat, put these back in, and uh, put your handle in, uh, spin, put it back on 52.5, or actually, <laughs> you could even put it on 10 or something, but, and take these out, great, looks perfect, and, oh, did I put it back in the base correctly? Put it on five, take them out. Now you can do a fully loaded. Uh, you know, you can add all your plates back in now that you know that it works with all the plates. If you had had a problem with a specific plate, let's say, you know, when uh, this plate was in there and you put this handle in and you go to turn it and it won't turn, you know that there is a problem with this specific plate. It's not the discs. It's the plate. That plate may have some issue. I talked about warpage in a previous video. Um, there's also, you know, if there's any kind of uh, damage on the lower edge, if there's any debris in your base, all of those things can affect your ability to uh, properly use the, the plate. But um, uh, so that test that I just did pair by pair, is a way of isolating and making sure that you have absolutely no problems with any of those pairs of plates. That is especially true on the Series 1. On the Series 2 and the 1090, chances are you're not going to have problems with your plates unless there's some, you know, major physical damage on it. Uh, but on the Series 1, every little thing can affect the performance of that plate with 
the upgraded dumbbells. So you want to check that out. Now, once you've gone through the individual pairs of plates, you can load it up. Just put all of your plates back in. And one sec here. And this one. That one. That one. Make sure you're set to five on both sides. Put your uh, kit back in. Spin your dials, should still spin, okay? Same thing on uh, this side, right? Set it to 52.5, and then you can give it the ultimate test, right? The entire thing. Oop, <laughs> that's funny. There we go. So, sometimes you gotta hold <laughs> this base when you have the full bar, you some of you have probably experienced that already. If this thing isn't held down firmly, especially on your stand, it'll try to lift the base when you lift the whole dumbbell. But so basically, you know, make sure that your entire dumbbell is secure. And then um, put it back on five, take your handle out. And now you know that this dumbbell is ready to go. The handle functions properly. It's locking properly. It's uh, inserting into the uh, existing plates properly. Uh, you know, now it's ready to use. Now I would feel safe using this dumbbell. But in, don't just put the upgrade in and then start using the dumbbells to exercise. Uh, that is, unfortunately, you know, it's, it's not safe because you don't know yet if you have your handle assembled like this. Ooh, I can hear the dumbbell or the ball bearing now. There's actually a loose ball bearing now in here because of the, the uh, play on these plates. So, uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully that helps you understand not just the uh, properly assembled um, handle versus what it looks like when it's incorrect, but also how to do your sort of your safety uh, pretest before you uh, start exercising with your dumbbells. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day.